So we all know people who've had stents, right? Um, in fact, and I'll just review an article here today. It was a landmark article in the New England Journal called The Courage Trial. Uh, the <clears throat> that was a few years ago. In 2004, there were more than a million coronary stents uh, placed. About 85% of them uh, were for stable coronary disease. Now, <clears throat> basically, this study showed that it, they don't that they don't help. Um, <clears throat> again, if you've had a stent and if or, and if you know people that have had them, uh, you may not want to watch the rest of the uh, of this series or this video. This is going to be about the Courage Trial in the New England Journal, uh, way back seven years ago. My name is Ford, but first uh, brief introduction. My name is Ford Brewer, F-O-R-D Brewer, B-R-E-W-E-R. -E um, and this channel is about helping you prevent uh, heart attack, stroke, uh, disability, dementia, and uh, maybe also about helping, get, helping you prevent getting inappropriate instrumentation to your chest. Um, <clears throat> This article's been around. I, I, this, is a, this is actually the second in a series um, on the um, uh, unnecessary stenting. Um, pardon me for putting it that way, if you've got one or if you've had one. Um, <clears throat> but again, that's a major problem in our country right now. This study was uh, published in the New England Journal, uh, the best journal in uh, medicine in the world right now and for many years. Optimal medical therapy with or without PCI for stable coronary disease. And PCI stands for percutaneous intervention. In other words, sticking a needle through uh, your groin or uh, usually your groin to uh, go in, up into your heart and um, place a stent. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> So, uh, there have been questions about uh, stenting and the, uh, whether it really made a lot of sense uh, for quite a while. This was the Courage uh, Research Group. It was a multi-center group. Uh, I think it may have been all VAs. The, the Veterans Administration Hospitals were certainly a major part of it. Uh, this was April 12th, 2007 that it was uh, published. And I'll put the, um, the link below the video for you. Again, <clears throat> as they pointed out in the abstract, uh, the vast majority of patients getting stents were getting it for stable coronary artery disease. Um, and that had not been proven at the time that again, millions of them have been done and continue to be done. We'll actually talk about uh, that in a later part of this series. There's been a lot of discussion in uh, medicine about why didn't we stop after this trial came out? And we didn't. Um, <clears throat> so again, the study question was to look at whether or not PCI, um, PCI intervention uh, was superior to optimal uh, medical therapy. And uh, I've already given away the, um, the punchline at the end, it wasn't. Uh, just a couple more details about this study. It was a randomized clinical trial, uh, 2,287 patients. Uh, objective evidence, this is not people that just had uh, chest pain. They, um, they had significant coronary artery disease. There were 50 U.S. and Canadian centers. This was not a small study. The study time was between uh, 1991 and 2004. Um, they assigned 1,149 to the PCI group and 1,138 to the control group. Uh, the primary outcome was death from um, from coronary uh, disease. They also looked at stroke. They also, uh, what else did they look at? Oh yes, non-fatal MI. 
So death, stroke, um, and uh, non-fatal uh, heart attack. 211 primary events occurred in the PCI group and 202 events occurred in the control group. So again, even just a little bit more. It was not significantly different, um, but it helps underline the point that stents did not help prevent these events. Stents don't prevent events. <laughs> Probability of seeing a significant difference in the study group was 0.62. In other words, it's almost a 50-50 chance. If you have a stent, uh, it certainly appears that uh, it has no impact. Uh, another way of looking at this was what was the risk um, with this type of analysis, the confidence interval, uh, if it overlaps one, again, not significant. So every way they analyzed it, and you can see by looking at the numbers, out of uh, 2287 um, who had the, well, excuse me, let me go back. Out of 1,149 who had stents and 1,138 who didn't have stents, 211 in the stent group had an event and 202 in the non-stent group. Pardon the repetition, I wanted to get that. I wanted to repeat that and get that information in there. Um, again, they looked at the composite uh, of death, myocardial infarction, and stroke. Again, same thing. They put them all together. Uh, no difference. Hospitalization for acute MI, no difference. Uh, or just myocardial infarction, no difference. Conclusion, obviously. PCI, or stents, did not reduce the risk of death or other major cardiovascular events. Now, again, as I said before, they looked just at the year that they started doing this study, 2004, a million uh, stents had been placed, and 85% were placed for someone that, that had uh, stable disease. What do we mean by stable disease? Now, if you're having an acute event, stents have been shown to be helpful. If, they, if you're having an acute event and they can do a stent, yes, do it. If you've got stable angina, uh, um, that's, that's the outcome. They don't help. Thanks for your attention.